going to be a really close race. So I drove all the way from El Paso to knock on your door and the doors of others in the neighborhood to get you all out to vote. Oh, so, for sure. I'll thank you so much. Thank it's you. an honor to have met you. It's an honor to meet yeah. you. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Yeah. She would. Yeah, I wonder why. Uh, but maybe she hadn't voted before. Oh yeah, that's true. So what do we? Put, uh, so what, what are we there's a note. Yeah, I think there's a note section that you can add that to. We'll say uh, ED vote plan made yeah. because the, the sister said she'd drive them. Miss Beverly is joining us right now. You want to take a picture? Yeah, come on out. I'll take it for you. What's your name? My name is Cynthia. So, oh, my name's Cynthia. Very Only cool. The best people. All right. Yeah, you know what? Like, <laughs> proof to my brother that I met you. It's cool. And you're going to take them out to vote for sure? Yeah, for sure. Oh, Thank yay. You. And you vote too? Is this, will this be your first election? No, it'll be my second. I voted for you for the last one, but we currently moved to a different... Thank you. Awesome. Yay. All right. Well, we're counting on you for Eliz tomorrow, you and your brother Jaime. Um, and if you can, help us spread the word by sharing the photo we just took. Oh, for sure. On, what do you use most? Twitter, Snapchat, uh, Instagram? Twitter. Twitter. Will you share that on Twitter? Of course. Okay. <laughs> I'm so glad I met you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Bye, Cynthia. Bye, Bye Cynthia. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> All right. All right, Beverly. We're having good luck again. Francisco Bay. Let's Francisco. pull up our houses. That's the street that Beverly wanted to be on, Francisco Bay. <laughs> That's where you wanted us to park, right, Beverly? Yeah, right here. We're okay. Right here. All right. <laughs> so we have, you said a few houses here, right? Uh, yeah, sure. Let me get to So it was very cold. I thought it was cold this morning, yeah, but now it's beautiful. Our friend Kashti Khan is on, who we block walked with yesterday. Right there, right there. What's my first name? Thirty fourteen. The first name is Jacqueline and Remy. Jacqueline. All right, let's go figure it out. And then, which way should we go, Miss Beverly? Do you have the map up so we can see? No, see, I don't go by that. I go by that one. Let's see here. And you know the good thing about the tell. map is it shows you which direction the house will be at. Well, okay, if you click on, on that. Yeah, it... yeah. So we're at 30. Yeah. Okay, I'll click on that. Yeah, I think if you click on that. So is this, is this, is this telling me this is where we are right here. Yeah, so that's showing, yep, uh-huh. So here's the map, folks, and y'all can see it. I don't know if you can. So it shows us that we're right there. He's right at that here. door, so we gotta go back, I think, that away. That way, yeah. Right? I think so. Uh, yeah. It does not look like they are home. Okay. All right. Not home, not home. Not home. And we just need some help on that. If you hand it to me, I can help. Hey, Natalie, rock that boat. That's right. Hey, Abby. Miss Beverly is checking out her map. I'm trying to find out which way we're going. Oh, I think we keep going. Yeah, there's a house up there's there. A bunch of houses. Okay. And then, Beverly, if you would sink yours. I guess, yeah. Oh, awesome. Yeah. So what we're talking about when we say to sink it is it will update. Not S-I-N-K, but S-Y-N-C. That's right. Sink. Sink. A technical terminology so that on your app, it updates that you've already went and visited those doors. So... Bigger crowds on the live stream today, yes. We're gonna cross this 
There we go. There's a lot of activity out here today. Mowing yacht, mowing the grass. This lady over here to my right is sanding. She has a project going on and she what? has a sanding what? machine. There's a lot of activity, Beto. I know. Here we go. Oh, look at that. Oh, more up here. It's gonna be hard for us to like I know, it's a lot of uh, That is a lot of noise. Sorry guys. I might have to log out if it keeps up with all this. Sure is pretty though. Beverly and Beto. So, we are on the street Las Cruces and Francisco Bay. Hey Desi, we've actually had a chance to visit a variety of different neighborhoods, but agree with you, think it's really important to make sure to leave no one out. And whether it's an affluent neighborhood or not an affluent neighborhood, it's super important to make sure to, to visit all of them. Then if you look at our last, uh, some of the past live streams, you'll see that we are trying our best to make sure to do that. But agree with you, important to do that. Everybody counts, every vote matters. All right. Are these down here, right? Uh, I don't know. Okay. Hey Rachel, I was uh, referring to the fact that somebody had mentioned that this seems like, it, you know, it's a more affluent neighborhood and that we should go visit other neighborhoods than we have. So wanting to make sure that we go out to all the neighborhoods and leave nobody out. Everybody matters, everybody counts. a lot of people are at work I agree with you doors for Dr. Eliz Markowitz. All the way over here? Yes ma'am, we drove 1200, well, 11 hours to come over here and, and knock on doors for her. That is crazy. 
Hi. Yeah, come say hi. Oh, that's yeah, I bet that we have somebody that wants to say hi. She's wondering, what are you doing here in this neighborhood? Oh, Who are you doing? Oh my gosh. Hi, I'm Beto. <laughs> I told my friend, I was like, that's him right there. Yeah, absolutely. Is this your neighborhood? Yes. What, and did uh, Cynthia already tell you about the election tomorrow? Yes, she did. Eliz Markowitz, and it's a special election, so it's going to be a very tight race, and we would love for you to, to commit to voting for her tomorrow. Awesome, thank you. Yeah, you come, come out, I'll take it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you stopped. Here we go. Ready? One, two, three. Awesome. Thank you. Got it. Yeah. Right. yeah. Please go vote. Please go vote. Yeah. Thank you. All right, we have another nice. house on this little uh, cul de sac. Okay. It is. This is two eight nine oh seven right here. Okay. All right. All right. We're gonna let Miss Beverly do this one. She is a seasoned pro. She goes. So Beverly is at this house. Beto is at the one next. Oh, so we probably shouldn't do it. Yeah, then we probably shouldn't do that one. Yeah, we'll just leave a sign. Hey, Wendy. Yes, for the most part, almost everybody is respectful and kind. So grateful for that. We are on Endeavor river and las cruces those are the two streets that we're on so if you guys are in the neighborhood come on out and join us would love to be able to say hi to you so beverly is writing a note because there's a no soliciting sign so she's going to leave a note she's writing it sale sign which probably means that she no longer lives there but doesn't necessarily mean that um, I remember when Amy and I were selling our first home we had a for sale sign in front of our house and we still live there as we showed uh, potential buyers the, the home so never want to assume Cynthia that's true rule number 37 never yes assume. Leslie we are in Tamaron that's the neighborhood that we're in so if you're around come on out come on out and join us Passing by a little bit of noise. Thank you, Deirdre. Just trying to keep up with Beto. Leslie, we're on now Glacier Bay and Endeavor Rivers. So if you are in the neighborhood, come out and say hi to us. Here we go. If you guys have any questions for Beto, then go ahead and post them and I'll make sure to try to get to them and have them answer the questions. Top 10 Beto rules, <laughs> I can ask him. So if you have any questions about block walking, just about anything, you can post them. Uh, yep. Cynthia, who do we have on the stream? Who's who's there? Who's saying hello? I think actually David Weisong is on the too. Yeah, Weisong. We David Weisong. Weisong, is it snowing where you are? Because it is not snowing. It's <laughs> um, really nice. Yeah, I just told them if they have any questions to post them, and that I will do my best to try to get you to answer them. Let's see. Thank you. One day I'll fall, Miss Beverly. It's just bound to happen. It's okay. I'll take them for the team. We have Linda Reynolds is on. We have uh, Jaime Rios, where we'll be, we be tomorrow. We're going to 
tomorrow is election day so we're gonna be out and if you guys have time come and join us and block walk we still need help Daniela we love you too Lauren, we're getting closer to, to your house, closer to where you are. Hello from Michigan. Hey, Leila. Thank you for saying that. I'll make sure to share that with Badu. If that's five minutes from where you are, Dave, come over. Join us. This way. Hey, Arizona. We have a, a, a neighbor kind of wants to say hello. Okay. That would be we, great. Did you, did you have a chance to mark that one, Beverly? I did. Okay, yes. thank you. Uh -huh. Hi. Hey. hey. How are you? Hi. Hi. Hi, baby. I saw your live stream and I was like, oh my God, I've never met you. I've never seen you before. Uh, this is Beverly and this is Cindy. Hi. Adriana, nice to meet you. Adriana, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Adriana, Thanks for coming out. This is my daughter, Amelia. Amelia. Hi, Hi. Oh. Hi sweetie. Oh my gosh. You got mojitos, so do I probably. <laughs> Hi, Amelia. Yeah, I saw you guys walking and I was like, Oh my god! Okay. I was following you. You actually went um, to my father-in-law the other day. Oh really? Um, he was one of the He's from Argentina. Yes. He's been there for like, he was there like 35 years ago. Is it Juan? Yeah. Hello. Really? Yeah. Oh, what yeah. a yeah. chance! Someone remember that guy's name? Yeah. Oh, no. really In his garage. Yeah. Yes. 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 Do you remember that? I do remember. Walking doors with Chris Turner. That's yeah. amazing. And he he was the second person we met. Somebody from Venezuela who'd said. They left a country um, to come here and are surprised to find some of the problems in their home country here Same with here. our current president. Yeah. Oh my gosh, we'll yeah. tell them. Wow. Yeah. What are the chances? They're going to run into Juan. <laughs> 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 He's like, I have, well, no, I'm his daughter-in-law. So daughter I'm married right. to his son. <laughs> wow. That is amazing. So, yeah, we were... I was just watching you guys and my husband, I tried to FaceTime him, but he's like, crap, you're cutting out. I wanted to meet him. He's like, I'm uh, right now. I can't believe you're Here, give your him. phone to Cynthia and we'll take a picture. Yes. Yeah. To make him jealous, right? So <laughs> glad you guys came you. out. Cool. Yeah. Amelia. Amelia, look up here. Up here, baby. I think the sun's right in her yeah. face. Yeah. There we go. Amelia. You need to make your monkey noises, Connell. Let me try. <laughs> uh, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> that does not work. That's weak. All right, there we go. Yeah, that was a good sure monkey. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. Actually, it's I'm so glad we met you. Yeah, thank you. You already you. planning to vote for Elis? Yeah, we actually, the uh, canvas just came by the other day. Okay. And I was like, okay, pretty cool. Awesome. Yeah. Um, so tomorrow's the last day. Yeah, they're having it here at the clubhouse, I believe, tomorrow. The Tamron Clubhouse. Mm -hmm. Tamron, yes. Yep. Uh -huh. uh, from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Yeah. You all are set. Yeah, of course. Make sure you take your mom to vote, okay? <laughs> She's like, cool, got that. I'm on it. Yeah. Don't worry about us. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, Bye. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Does she do tope? Do you tope? Were you were you were you you knock heads tope? I guess she does. Yeah. That's tope. <laughs> Bye, Amelia. So nice to meet you. Thank you for coming out. Bye. Thank. Thank you. I mean, I know you are, but like, I got I got friends like all over the country, man. They're like all about you, and I mean, you're you're awesome. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Um, I mean, this is probably gonna be like the first year I vote, 
Um, great. All yeah. right, yeah. Ethan. I yes, I live. I, I, so, um, just coming home from getting groceries with my mom, and she's like, "That's Beto," and I was like, <laughs> and, she, and she went to go get my sister, but I was oh. like, "I gotta go walk out of here." <laughs> oh, I'm yeah. so glad you did. Yeah, yeah. I wanna, yeah, I gotta get a picture, man. Like, Let's do it. Cynthia yeah. will take it. And are you registered to vote? Uh, I actually have to. We're going to get you registered, and and we're going to get your contact info. You won't be able to vote in this election, but oh, you man. can you can vote in the primary that's coming up on March third. Okay. You just got to get registered by February the third. Okay. That's, that's the deadline. So we'll miss you on this one, but you could help us to get your your mom and anyone else in your family that's registered to vote. Yeah. To come out for Elis tomorrow, and I'm going to leave this with you. Okay. So that you have the closest polling location, and then Cynthia will gladly take a, a picture of us. Yeah. Absolutely. Here we go. How cool. Thanks, Ethan. Yeah. All right, ready? One, two, three. We grab a few to make sure they come out right. There we go. Right on. And then, can I get your information so we yeah, can make here, sure? Um, here, maybe if you we will can write, put it. Write down your name and phone number. Here we go. Um, somebody from our team oh, or from, uh, there's a group called Flip the Texas House that's yep. working on voter registration right now. Um, they'll they'll get that done. So if you'd write your first and last name and phone number, okay. we'll follow up and get you registered to vote. Funny thing is, I uh, in El Paso County, that's where I'm from, mm -hmm. and you here in Fort Bend, I, I'm not allowed to register you to vote. Okay. Uh, Texas has a weird law where if you're a deputized voter registrar, you can only register people in your home county. But um, we can get you a form that you can mail in so that you do it on your own. And that's what Flip the Texas House does, which is a great allied organization uh, in Texas. So we'll give you a call. Right, Connor? That's right. So cool that you came out and you just saw, you, yeah, I mean, your mom saw? Yeah, yeah. Um, that's that's awesome. So cool. And please make sure anybody in your family that can vote, that they go vote tomorrow. Yeah. Really, every single vote counts and matters. So it'd be really awesome if you could do that. So cool. So yep. glad we met you, man. Thank you. Have a great one. You too. Yeah. Nice Help to meet you. Yeah. Okay. Um, so that was great. If, if you want to join the, the effort to get people out to decide the most important elections taking place in the state of Texas, uh, some would argue in the country right now, you can go to poweredbypeople.org. So powered, X for by, people.org. And the whole premise of this is, is really simple. If we want to change the people in power, we have to use the power of people to do that. That's canvassers like Beverly and myself and Cynthia knocking on doors like Ethan's family to remind them that there's a special election tomorrow to make sure they get out and vote. Otherwise, they may not know or they may not have the reminder that they need. And the other side that has a lot more money and greater ability to be on TV and to send mailers to their home, they're going to win out in this election. So. It's the power of people versus the power of money versus the power of special interests versus the power of those who are already in power. That's what we are trying to do right now. Awesome. Okay. All right. I'm going to I'm going to keep this you, graphic in my pocket. All right. Give the card that has Ethan's contact info to our friends at Flip the Texas House. We're on Grand Teton Street. Oh yeah. And Endeavor River. So if y'all are around, please come on by. Hey, Beto, somebody's asking um, that you might have done some family history research, and Byron is wondering if you found anyone interesting that you're related to. Well, I, I found by um, you know researching our family history that we have an ancestor named Achilles. Mm -hmm. Not that Achilles, but uh, an Achilles. But an Achilles. Like, an Achilles from like 200 years ago. Here we go, 289. Cool. Four. This is Michelle. We're going to knock on her door. Um, so I tried to get uh, Amy to name our youngest son Achilles. That was a, but, but she, I'd already prevailed with Ulysses for our firstborn, and she says, I'm, I'm not doing that. <laughs> uh, so she picked Henry, which is a Henry is a Henry. Henry's a strong name. If you know name. Henry, he's a Henry. But if you know Ulysses, he's a Ulysses. If you know Molly, she's a Molly. Let's give him a shot. So it doesn't look like they're here. There's a package, and so probably not. Here we go. I like that name too, Ulysses. Here we go.
So Teresa, um, the election is tomorrow. I'm gonna show you the graphics here. Tomorrow, January 28th, and this is it. Dr. Eliz Markowitz, HD 28. So if you have any family and friends in this area, please come on out and make sure to spread the word. Really, really important election. Hey, Laura. Muchas gracias, Ramón, por el apoyo. Muy importante, lo agradecemos mucho. Such a pretty day to be out here. It's a nice little breeze. Yeah. Feels good. Abby, don't leave. Keep the live stream going. Pick up your kids with the live stream going. Thank you, Magda. Your dogs. All right, so Beverly is going to one house and Beto is at the other. Let's see if they can get somebody to answer. Again, if um, y'all know anybody that lives out here, any family, Please call them, remind them that if they haven't voted, really important to go vote. Tomorrow is election day. Let me show you guys again. Thanks, Andrea. Really nice. So election day, tomorrow here, Fort Bend. Dr. Eliz Markowitz. Polls are open from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Please make a plan to go out and vote tomorrow, 7 a.m., 7 p.m. Literally takes, from the folks that we talked to when we were at the polls, it took them five, under five minutes. Every single person, under five minutes. Take that one real quick. Aw. Emily, I'm glad you're along with us. Thanks, Emily. Uh, she says she does homeschool and so she does it online and so she feels kind of lonely because she's home alone. So she likes the live streams. I'm in high school. Uh, still and I do online school at home so I get lonely and I love these live streams I think we should I like that idea I'm open for it so trade 
Empowered by People is our new organization. Let me show you. Oh, you know what? I think Betha took the graphic with them. But it's poweredxpeople.org. And if you go there and sign up, that's where we are doing our very best to help other candidates throughout Texas and other areas to try to make sure that we are doing all we can to get more Democrats in office. So please go online and join Powered by People. Thanks, Sharon. Yes, please. There you go. Crystal posted it right there. Powered by People. And Christy, who did an amazing... It was Christy who did a really great graphic for us for Powered by People. We finished all the houses here in this cul-de-sac, so I'm gonna head back out. Beverly, would you mind seeing yours? Yeah. What's the weather like wherever you guys are at? Here it feels probably like 72 degrees so perfect to be outside there's one more house that they're going back for. Ooh, foggy and rainy. And New Orleans. Sunny and 60 in Austin. We have a probably about four people here today block walking that drove in from Austin and yesterday we had a few people that came in from Dallas and Longview and Marshall kind of from all over Ooh, Chicago that is cold North Carolina cold Good that they went back. Somebody answered that door. I got a yes. All right. Is that two yeses? All right. I need a cow cowbell. That's yes. what I want for every time we get a yes. All right, Beverly is inputting the information, making sure we have correct data updates. Those are two yeses. All right. <laughs> oh, I missed Beto's happy dance. Well, Darn it. Do it the <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> Shoot. You, you miss it forever. Um, Cynthia, let me, uh, let me do this. Let me do an impromptu. Well, I remember Emily, uh, who is homeschooling, 
right now we we want her to get in touch with other homeschoolers uh maybe do a homeschool town hall by facebook live stream maybe while we're doing a block walk but in the meantime if you have a question for beverly for cynthia for me um be happy to take it cynthia how do you read on this screen I see Skylar on there. Skylar. I'm not pronouncing her name wrong anymore. Before I was saying Shyler and not right. It's Skylar. Well, it's not, it's not intuitive. Christy, there, there's no chance I'm doing TikTok again. Um, oh, that was, that was my last, that was my last TikTok yeah. appearance. Beverly, are you on TikTok? I am. You do TikTok? I don't do it. My granddaughter does it. Yes. She got me on it. Did you get you to TikTok? I haven't done one. Hey, Laura. Oscar Longoria is on. Oscar. There's Stephanie from Arizona. There's a person in a black van. Hey, how are you? shows me that this stuff works. Um, so you don't need one of these. You're already I don't. planning to vote. I have more at home that I hand out to more people. Great. And I just, I really wanted to come out and thank you. Oh, thank you. Aww. El Paso. And, uh, so nice. And I can't wait to see what we keep doing with more elections. My husband's been, uh, he's like, I didn't know when I got married you were politically active. And I wasn't. Um, right. Things one changed of those things a few years ago. Yes. Yeah, I'm sure there's been a lot, yes. lot of people. And, um, I just, um, I'm still going, actually, I'm considering going back to law school um, now that she's going to be in kindergarten. Yeah. Oh, so, okay. uh, I just, you know, just want to help. You know, yeah. Cool. I, I know that's what you guys want to do. Have you already so. signed up with Powered by People? Yeah, uh, I'm actually, uh, I started all this with Jan Adams. Okay. I actually, well, she met you once at Jan Adams' we, house. We, Jan is yes. fantastic. And Bob. Yes. yes. Who we just saw last night. Um, who are amazing. fantastic individuals, and I know they've supported you a ton. They've been and, great. And, um, to continue to support you and, and all the causes. So just thank you so much. Thank for, you. You I'm guys so got a beautiful day. Aww, isn't I'm it pretty? I know you guys do it in the rain and the wind too. So yeah. um, we'll it's take fantastic. we'll take all weather and and uh, it's it's really been perfect. And the folks who have been home have been so nice, which is I, I really great. that too. Block walking. I was surprised. We got fifty percent of our doors answered and our staff. And everyone was extremely courteous, ex even the people that necessarily weren't super enthusiastic about yeah. having their, their door knocked yeah. on. Um, and then we also had some great conversations. I met someone who went to my church, and we had a great conversation. So it, it, it's been super great. I'm really glad to have this in my yeah. life. So. I, lo I love that part of it. Is you get into it because you want to support a candidate or a cause, yeah. or you care about a policy. And that's always important, but then you meet people, and it yeah. becomes... Uh, about you know connecting with other people that you otherwise would not have met, and yeah, that's in beautiful. Your community. And in that's its own why right. these local elections are important, and you know, and that's why you're doing this. But I love to volunteer in my community, and 
and make the community a better place. So it's all Thanks together. for doing it. So yeah, I'm so glad we saw you. I appreciate yeah. it. Thanks for doing okay. this. You guys have a great Bye. Thank, thank you. you. Thank Ooh. you so you're much. Oh, you you're so kind. And uh, videoing. I saw you taking pictures and videoing. <laughs> oh, she, she did four cameras yesterday. Uh -oh. One under this arm, one under this arm, <laughs> live stream, and taking a photo. And I didn't drop anything. Bye, bye. Bye. In El Paso, I don't think they do the school bus to your door, do they? Uh, not for most. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, drop you off and walk home. Yeah. This is service in the Lamar ISD. Right? Yeah. I had to walk to school. Oh, really? Yeah, like yeah, two, miles, two, like miles, two miles. Like two miles in the cold and the heat. Oh, no. Here goes so what it was like when I grew up. As uh, Joe Biden would say, that's malarkey. <laughs> that's, that's the truth. You can back check it. Oh yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah, we can back check it. It's true. All right. Okay. All right, we we gotta see. Hey, who lives at twenty eight nine ten? All right. Uh, so it's just right around this corner. Really want to thank everyone who's who's been on the live stream while we're block walking, Emily who's getting homeschooled right now and said that this is part of her community now. We love hearing that. Uh, other folks who are writing postcards to voters or who are block walkers themselves um, and are cheering us on. The people who made a donation at poweredbypeople.org. Your money supports the work that we're doing. And then people who've signed up to join us for future block walks, all of you. Hey, Beto, there's a question which I think is good. Um, are you allowed to canvas at apartment complexes? Not only are you allowed to, but I believe, and somebody from El Paso or someone who knows their election law, check me on this one. I think it was an El Pasoan named Chuy de la O, who um, was stopped from block walking in public housing, and I forget what the year was in El Paso, and they took that case to the courts and they found that uh, every one of us has a right to talk to our, our neighbors and our fellow citizens about elections, as uh, Beverly and I are doing right now. And that's not restricted to people who live in single family homes. It's apartments, it's public housing, it's wherever you are. We, we wanna engage you in, in your own democracy. Um, and the best way to do that is to show up at your door, even if you live in an apartment complex. And actually, a state rep in this area, Gene Wu, um, has a program that specifically focuses on um, going out and reaching voters who live in apartment complexes, which I, I think is a is a great idea. So, Gene, Representative Wu, thank you for that work. Okay, here we go. Good question, Raymond. swore I never would and uh, and then we had three kids and 
You were rocking the minivan. We were, and it's, it's the only way to get around when we did I, it. Oh, yeah, that's, it, it's... But we did it, you know, but I have to say, when we were traveling, the minivan was the most comfortable. It was easy to get in and out. You could put oh, a lot of stuff right. in the we back. Yeah, in the campaign too. all the but time. I'm saying, I, I, you drove it Amy for your parents. personal use. Yeah, and we just never, you know, like that's like, you just never are going to do that. Like when and you were in your you 20s and 30s, you never saw yourself being a minivan type of guy? No, no, I didn't. I didn't see myself having kids, though. What? When I, when I was young. You're so I was, good with kids. Well, I don't know. Ask my kids. <laughs> yeah, it's a marker. Yeah, it's okay, good. cool. All right, yeah, and you'll sink that. Yeah, it's sink. Sink until it's sunk. Sink until you're sunk is, is our motto. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh, they gave us a tough packet. So we got to go to the end of this street, which dead ends. Okay. I, I'm just going to tell you this. I'm not a big fan of these subdivisions that have the cul-de-sacs and the dead ends. Uh, they're made for cars, not for humans. And so in, instead of being able to connect to the other network of streets, we got to walk all the way back for, through everything that we've done to then get back to... Um, okay. Let's, should, well, should well we, let's hit it. Let's start walking. this last house because it's so far? Yeah. Look how far away it is. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's so far uh, we could just go back. Why don't we get here? And then maybe we jump in the truck to do this yeah. last one. You know okay. what? Executive decision, they just yeah. made it right there. We'll take a left up here. So should I keep going, Beto? Or should I? I, don't know. I mean, we're going to be literally walking we're just gonna walk. that we just did. So maybe it's a good time to say goodbye. But Beverly, okay. where are we, like 40% complete? Oh, it's 3 o'clock already, too. Don't we oh, have another? no. Yeah, we do. Yeah. We, we gotta go. Okay. We're supposed to be back by, <laughs> sorry. We busted our time limit. Uh, all right. We, all right, so we'll log out. Um, thanks to all the voters who opened their doors to us, uh, even more to those who made a commitment to vote tomorrow for Eliz Markowitz. Uh -huh. All the nice people who jumped in their minivans to come out and say hello to us, or you know walk down the street to encourage us and support us. Thanks to all the block walkers who are out there knocking on doors right now. All of you who are phone banking at home or texting or writing postcards, that stuff really works. And remind everyone in your life who lives in Fort Bend County to vote for E. Liz Markowitz tomorrow, Election Day. All Adios right. Bye. Bye, Miss Beverly. Bye. Bye.